Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves. What's up, guys? What's going on? In this vid, this is our second vid on series. I'm gonna be talking about this sum which goes blah 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 infinitely. Now, you guys are probably wondering how this thing can be calculated an infinite number of times. Actually, we are not gonna take infinity at all. We are gonna go in, ask the user, enter the number of terms. If he says four, we're gonna take the first four terms and that's it. We are done. And we're gonna print the value and bam, this program is over. So now let me go ahead and show how this works. So here you have sum equals to 1 plus half square, 1 by 3 cube, 1 by 4 power 4 and so on, right? Now let's break this into pieces and try to understand each piece separately. You have the first term 1 by 1, then you have the second term 1 by 2 raised to 2, third term 1 by 3 raised to 3 and so on, right? So as you guys can see, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, probably like the index of a for loop you guys can probably figure that out easily I'm gonna start with number equals to 1 remember the numerator 1 is gonna stay same all the time this denominator 1 2 3 4 keeps changing so we're gonna take this denominator initially give it a value of 1 and we assume that the sum is 0 initially there is nothing being added to the sum but later as you guys will see current term now if you see 1 by 1 raised to 1 1 by 2 raised to 2 the same way the current term is 1 by i raised to i, right? And we write that using this function called POW, which is math.pow, if you guys remember from earlier vids. I'm going to loop simply from i equals to 1 to n, take the current term, add the current term to the sum, right? So first, I add 1 by 1 to sum, so sum becomes this. Then I add 1 by 2 to sum, so sum becomes this plus this. Then this becomes this, and so on. It keeps adding each step, right? So let me go ahead and net beans get this baby up and running so here in NetBeans I have nothing just a plain empty project I have a buffered reader over here to take input from the user I ask the user enter the number of terms he gives it I store it in this variable called number which is of type integer right so let me go ahead and first start with our stuff I'm gonna say int uh, denominator maybe equals to 1 initially the denominator starts by 1 it's actually 1 but over here we'll write 1 by 1 right and you also know that 1 by 1 raised to 1. This is what it exactly is. Okay, so now let's go ahead. The denominator starts with 1. And now we'll say double sum equals to 0, 0.0 initially. Remember, this is fractional stuff. So it's best we take a double and add stuff. So 4 int i equals to 1. i less than equals number of terms. i plus plus. Oops, the bracket. Oh. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the current term. If you remember the current term, I can say something like this. Current term equals to 1 by i, right? Remember, this is going to be pure integer because 1 is an integer, i is an integer. So the entire right hand side is going to be integer division. We need to typecast this directly. So I'm going to say double over here. Now we, don't, we want the power, right? I'm going to say math dot pow actually we don't need to typecast we can simply put math dot pow and this will be typecasted for us math dot pow 1 by i comma i 1 by i raised to i right that's exactly what i'm gonna see so first i is gonna be 1 so it's gonna be 1 by 1 raised to 1 then 1 by 2 raised to 2 right and this gives exactly the current term now we simply have to add it we'll say sum equals to sum plus current term right and bam we are done so let me go ahead and print the sum and see what happens system dot out dot print ln now when there is only one term this is gonna be the answer which is 1 right control s shift f6 enter the number of terms 1 the answer is 1 alright now when the number of terms is 2 it's gonna be 1 plus half square which is 0 0.5 square it's actually wrong it should be giving us a 0 0.25 square plus 1 we need to typecast this inside I think because it's again taking 1 by i as an integer over here 1 is an integer, i is an integer, Java automatically takes integer division when it sees two integers like this. So you have to typecast this to double to make the answer comes properly. So now let us let me go ahead and run this again, Control S, Shift F6, enter the number of terms 2. As now you can see it's 1.25, it's perfectly coming the answer that way. Let me go ahead and run this, let us take the number of terms as 10. Okay, now that's a crazy number. Alright, so it's working. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next vid. Have a nice day. See you later.